Yeah, I know Google Map is raising some concerns about the effect of climate change as sea levels are expected to continue to rise. In our Einstein Healthcare Science Center report, meteorologist Chelsea Ingram shows you what Philadelphia could look like in about 80 years. Portions of the Delaware Valley are vulnerable to rising sea levels caused by climate change. And a new tool and interactive map is painting a sobering picture of what parts of Philadelphia and surrounding counties could look like in the year 2100 if sea levels continue to rise. Google Earth is now putting research findings on sea level rise in 3D with Climate Central's Surging Seas Extreme Scenario 2100 overlay. Climate Central meteorologist Sean Sublette says this tool can predict areas that are in jeopardy. We can see what areas are most vulnerable regarding whether it's a national park, whether it is somebody's house, where there is some infrastructure as the seas rise. According to Climate Central, the global sea level has risen eight inches since 1880. And here in Philadelphia, it's risen about six inches since the 1980s. Among the causes, a warming ocean causing water to expand, shrinking ice due to warming air and water temperatures, and sinking land. While other cities may be more exposed to sea level rise, Philadelphia isn't in the clear. For instance, take Philadelphia International Airport and even FDR Park. Once we turn on the overlay and show you that worst case scenario, both of those locations are actually underwater. You're going to have more frequent flooding taking shape. Uh, several areas are becoming under recurrent flooding. Here's the good news. The city of Philadelphia is taking steps to mitigate the causes of climate change. By the year 2030, the city plans to do several things, including reduce greenhouse gas emissions and cut energy use, among other measures. While at least some future sea level rise is unavoidable, there are steps that we can all take to reduce our carbon footprint, flood risk, and sea level impacts. You can find more information at CBSPhilly.com. Back to you. Very proactive, indeed, indeed.